baseball man. Look at you. The second you think you know what's going to happen, it changes on a dime. Dusty Baker, Curtis Granderson, J. Roll, Pedro Martinez. My name is Lauren Shahadi. David Fry off Clay Holmes lights up the city, a sinker, and he did not miss it. Got all of it. I'll tell you, that was exciting. I wow. mean, one minute. They're down and out, got their heads down. Next minute, they're celebrating, and that's baseball right there. And Clay Holmes hadn't given up a single run this postseason. How would you have pitched to Fry in the 10th inning? I, I wouldn't change anything, but because you don't want to spike the breaking ball, you have to go after him. Uh, he's got good enough stuff to get by anybody, but everybody makes a mistake every yep. once in a while. So you, you have no blemish there. They got to the two closers, and they got to Holmes late in the game. Uh, it was just... The game we wanted to watch. Right. We keep we right. keep asking for a good game. Well, we got it. We got it. Judge and Stanton back to back seems like two years ago. Now I mean now it with does. The way the Cleveland Guardians it, it, it was big back. in that moment, but Cleveland said, "Hold on, partner. We got something for you." Oh my goodness. They don't quit. Nope. These are the moments you live for. John Kenzie, Noel, and David Fry. This is it. I thought we were talking about. We saw those fans wearing the Christmas hats and said, "Hopefully they're not celebrating Christmas too early." <laughs> or maybe they didn't celebrate it earlier well, enough. They came right on time tonight. Oh, they came well, right they on, right on time tonight. They knew what oh, they yeah, were they doing. They, they got doing. big Christmas yes, under the show. Yes, they did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three in the books. It was an instant classic. You get to hang out tomorrow night again. We have the late game on the Friday <laughs> schedule. <laughs> Are you ready for more, gentlemen? An 805 Eastern first pitch. We can hardly wait to bring it to you. Game four on TBS. If you missed a second of game three, it was about 800 hours. Wow. This is Clark Schmidt and Matthew Boyd sharing the mound. Guardian fans all ready to go and Matthew Boyd was a story he gave them some much needed length five innings allowing two hits one run striking out four he retired the final ten batters he faced seven on ground outs mm, two one I like, I, saw, I like what I saw from the two starters yes. even though Smith ended up giving up two runs in that homer I, I, I think they both did the job. And Dusty, you're all over this. Sandra Jimenez singles through the drawn in infield. Three to one Cleveland, that three two pitch, the sinker, Emmanuel Class A, best closer in the land the best, the, against the best hitter in our sport. How many people can hit that high off the ground and hit it out? That's a line drive. Taco, taco. Yeah, that's right. And one. you can hear Brian Anderson's voice on the call. Yep. He was unsure if he got all of it. And Emmanuel Class A saying, my goodness. But, you know, the key to that was that walk, that two-out walk, because walk to what, Curtis? They will haunt you in October. It's hard to explain how dominant Emmanuel Class A was back-to-back. -back. We talked about the lineup. Do you like it? Uh, yeah, they do. Oh. Are you kidding me? My goodness. To Stanton. It was a slider, by the way. Class A threw to Kerry Carpenter when he hit that three-run shot for Detroit earlier in the postseason. And a similar pitch there. And the Yankees go back-to-back. And they lead by one. And we were listening to the broadcast. It took the air and the, the life out of that place. And the Yankees all sorts of fired up. So to the bottom half of the ninth, Lane Thomas. And Luke Weaver has been fantastic for the New York Yankees. The three to pitch. How clutch has Lane Thomas been? He's been great. Off the top of the wall. In there for a double. Can we talk about challenging right there? Again, you can't be mad at that pitcher. Up two nope. right there. You don't want to walk. Watch this back. Get off me. Big Christmas. The Merry rookie Christmas, pinch dog. hitting two yeah. outs, bottom of the ninth. And he was one for what, 16, 17? It doesn't matter anymore. I guess he's having homer since August or something like that. Dang. Everything going against him. But as you say, Dusty, <laughs> the number's in his favor. Well, Brian right. Anderson said the Long ultimate averages. present under the tree. What a call by B.A. Top of the 10th. Jazz Chisholm. To the right side. Heck of a play right here. Heck this would have been play. first and third. I thought one his out. foot was off the bag, but you didn't, and you were right. Great play. Best he athletes. Him. Best athletes, Curtis. Are in the infield. Ooh, nail it right there. Stretch it right there. <laughs> is, he an, is he an infielder? He is an infielder. He's an infielder. I give it to you. Yeah. That's, that's a tag team combo right there. Mm, Pedro Avila, I've been doing it a long time. Oh, no. oh. Pedro Avila is also a good athlete, don't you think, Jimmy? I don't know, but he got it. Yeah. Well, there's a news. Hey, Pedro, there's an athlete in there. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Wow. Look at this. Swing of his life, bottom of the 10th. Man. All sorts of fired up for the home crowd. They are going crazy. And here we go. Cleveland takes one back at home. They the need vote. this. Yeah. They had they talked need about that. it. He said, going home. We love playing at home. We've played well there all year long. Sure do. 
an instant classic. We watched it. We watched it together on TV as Donovan Mitchell from the Cleveland Cats. David Fry, oh, again, again, to your point, how clutch he's been. Travis Kelsey, playoff baseball baby. He was at game, what was it, one or two with his girlfriend, Taylor Swift. What a game. One. City absolutely rocking tonight. What a game. And momentum is a funny thing because it changes so quickly. This changes everything in this series. It just does. It does. If you would have went down three games to nothing in your Cleveland, you it's basically tough. go ahead and get ready for the offseason. Now you win and you win a game like this. Your fans are back into it. You feel confident. Your offense is clicking. This is the type of win that you definitely needed to have. This was a true must-win game, and they got it. And especially if they jump them tomorrow night early. It's like, oh, no, man, they're almost coming back to get because if they come back and tie this game up, it's in their favor. Uh, you know what, just uh, uh, the Dustin, series up. The, and, and the most important thing is that they tax not only the closer, mm. but everybody in that bullpen. Uh, uh, when Smith left, I, I, uh, uh, I, Booney went to use everybody else. So now you have that to your advantage. My, my, my relievers are taxed. But so are yours. Mm -hmm. and, and especially Weaver. Weaver's been there for every situation that they need. And that was the closest that they got to. Hi, Class A has been, it's hard to explain how dominant he is in the regular season. Kerry Carpenter got to him. And now uh, they got to him in this game as well. Do you think his confidence is shattered at all? No. Look at the people, the, the, the two hitters that, they, that he gave up homers to. Giancarlo Stanton, during the postseason, Another, another, a different man totally. And George is the best player out there, the best hitter out there. So when you give it up to guys like that, sometimes you just got to keep your hat and let him go. But now, tomorrow, he needs to be on if they get the lead. But that's not going to happen very often. Yep. Yeah. That he's going to go and give up back-to-back back back. homers. But if you're going to give him back-to-back, it's got to be hitters like that. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't mm -hmm. shocked, though, because I saw him sitting on the bench and he was just out there. And when a guy that has never given it up and you give it up like that, you got to be in shock. Especially for because he knows he made a mistake probably on Giancarlo Stanton. Correct. Giancarlo looked like he had no chance nope. on those fastballs, especially in the, on the inner part of the plate. But he went and flipped another slider yep. and, and ended up being burned again. It was 98-99, and Giancarlo was kind of late. He was late. He was, late. Not he was yeah. late. He didn't want 90. any business with it. But all night, Giancarlo was, uh, I talked about it with you, Dusty, he was seemingly letting the ball get deep. Right. He did, he's been pulling off, you know, that's been his thing. But in playoff, if you look at what he's doing, he's letting the ball travel. He's letting himself see the ball late. He knows he can get around. He talked about early in the season, you know, as short as his swing is, is long. He's found a way to abbreviate it. And when you're confident enough to let that ball travel, Ooh. even if somebody's throwing 100, got you. you're feeling really good. He got that breaking ball because if he's trying to pull some, you know, pull to try to get the bad head, head out because he's throwing hard, that's a pop up if he doesn't swing and miss. But all night long, he was letting that ball travel and he got rewarded for it. Mm, and 2 1 Yankees in the series. Aaron Boone, the Yankees skipper, addressing the media not too long ago. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, the other team's good too, and, and they credit to them. They, you know, uh, I thought Thomas put a really good at bat on uh, on Weave to kind of, you know, lay off some tough pitches. Got back in the count, hits the double, and then and then uh, you know, obviously Noel really got into one. So, um, you know, they they scratched and clawed their way back in, and then uh, I thought Clay was pretty sharp, and then just left one up that that. Fry was able to elevate, so, um, you know, sucks losing like that, obviously, but, you know, kind of a classic game, um, and we'll, we'll be ready to roll tomorrow. They drive nice cars, too, right, Justin? You don't envy losing a game like that and having the media. Oh, no, I don't miss that at all. <laughs> In your face, asking you questions as uh, the media does. We are the media, and we have been deciding who your daddy is, and it is a very difficult decision. There were many standout performers. We're going to decide after this. Do you have any thoughts? Oh, I, I, I would like to have a lot of daddies and a lot of uncles. Because mm. <laughs> daddy, there's two?